Lisa Cohn is preparing himself for the prison time he agreed to. A judge denying his attempt to take back his admission of guilt. A clear-cut decision by the judge that came with the drama we've come to expect from Anthony Saccone. News Channel 9's Jennifer Sanders talks with a family of victims who had to watch their children's killer defend himself. But we begin with News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan, who shows us the courtroom chaos. I don't like his reputation. I'd like to find a uh, counsel. Anthony Saccone says he feels like he was given up on, so he started by firing his attorney, Bill Sullivan, leaving Saccone to defend himself, frequently interrupting the judge. Yes, Mr. Saccone. As we're all aware, criminal procedure law 220.60 states that the court in its discretion may permit the defendant to withdraw his or her plea, and such a motion must be premised upon some sort of evidence of innocence, fraud, mistake, coercion, or involuntariness. Now, during the plea on the morning of July 25th, I stated several times that I have no choice but to say yes, and that I don't agree with statements made. This is a guy that's manipulated. He, he thinks he's in charge, like he was the night he killed those three kids. He thinks he runs this court. He thinks he can hear a couple of phrases and words over in the jail, like prosecutorial misconduct and coercion and whatever else he's going to find in the law library and come in here and put these three families through this agony of having to listen to this. He pled guilty in as clear and concise as a manner I have seen in 40 years as a prosecutor. The judge didn't buy Saccone's story, ruling the plea deal will stand, saying he didn't bring up his concerns when he had the chance. But Saccone wasn't done. For the record, Judge, I think the power of this court has been abused more than once. With that being said, I still respect the decision, but it's clearly an abuse of power. It's clearly coerced. Clearly made a plea involuntarily. I'm not going to debate I'm not debating it anymore with you, Mr. Sacone. Next Norma, case, please. Norma, points proven. The courtroom drama may not be over. Anthony Sacone is scheduled to be back in court before Judge Doran for his sentencing on October 19th. Until then, Sacone will stay in custody at the Justice Center Jail. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.